You see on this uh, photo I have, look at the bow here, and you can see that there's a radial demarcation line where you see some color variance uh, here. That is the plastic dome, which is the bow of this class of submarine, under which uh, resides a spherical array with sonar transducers. That's a characteristic of uh, most American ballistic and uh, attack type submarines. Now, <clears throat> what we're going to do to, to represent that is uh, I first identified the center and I've put a small hole in the bow here. Now, what I've done is I've taken a set of uh, outside calipers and I've modified them by sharpening the, uh, the ends of each blade. And we're going to use it as a compass. And the reason I use an outside set is because its shape lends itself to this usage. See what I have here? It's now a compass which will negotiate this almost right angle. So I'm very lightly engraving the hull with this tool. Now this is not the final scribe line. This is just a pilot line. And later I'll come back with a, uh, a stencil uh, and uh, dig a deeper, deeper engraved line. But you can see that it's getting the job done by giving me something to use as a reference to later scribe over. I'm going to have to come back, of course, and repair some of the paint here. That's a small price to pay. Anyway, there you see it. <clears throat> Got that engraved line running around there. Almost all the detail on the uh, on the model is rendered as scribing. Now there are exceptions, uh, such as the uh, bump here. That was that was done by a drop of uh, carefully applied uh, uh, five minute epoxy. That uh, this bump, incidentally. Uh, represents a uh, oh, a blister in the uh, hatch fairing, which uh, I assume uh, made room uh, for an internal mechanism that uh, otherwise would have protruded. So all three uh, axis hatch covers have this little dimple. <clears throat> 